Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our dumbbell workout for the week. Um, we're going to be uh, working on uh, supersets this week. So that's uh, the way we're going to group it is with um, an upper body exercise and a lower body exercise. So you see we got goblet squats and bent over rows grouped together and then sumo deadlifts, chest presses, reverse lunges, back flies, then dumbbell swings and French presses. So those are going to be our eight exercises. Unfortunately, I forgot my headphones today, so it might be a little echoey. Um, so hopefully the, the sound's not too bad. Um, next week, we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to do kettlebells. So if you have kettlebells or uh, um, want to find a kettlebell, you can uh, join in with that workout. We're going to do something a little bit more specific around that and um, if you don't have kettlebells you can always just use a single dead uh, dumbbell instead. So let's get going on our warm-up starting with leg swings. Spine yourself on the wall, swing forward and back, Sides, loosen up our hips, get a little movement in, and we're just going to be agility skaters, so going from side to side, finish with a high knee. And our heart rate's going now. A little lateral movement. Wake up our cells a bit. Let's get on the ground next. T position. And you're going to do an iron cross. So you're going to go right leg towards left hand, the left leg towards right hand. So back and forth. Loosening up our low backs, our mid backs. Glutes and one more each side, let's hop up and get into butt kicks. So we'll start with a march. So just pulling the heels towards your butt. And then we can go into a jog. So you see from the side view, just pulling the heels up each time. And then finish with a run. So just picking up the pace. Great. Let's go on with some arm circles to start with palms down. Slowly get bigger until we get to full rotations. Palms up. Go on reverse. Same thing. Full rotation, whatever your full may be. And we'll finish with our punch combo. Let's jab cross hook. One, two, three. 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 Switch sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and we can relax and get ready for our workout portion. So we're going to start with goblet squats. Hit, choose your own reps. As always, I always do 10, but you don't have to. So we're going to start feet hip width apart here. Drop down, push up, drop down, push up. Complete your reps. So like I said, I'm going to do 10, so exhale on the way up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. Good. Once you finish your reps, you can rest, and we're going to pick it back up on the minute with bent over rows. So we 
end up back over the road, spin some flat back. You can have your hand on the bench or a table, and then you're going to roll up. I'm going to use my Swiss wall here. So we're going to, I'm going to try and get 10 in each arm. So get ready, and go, nice flat back, drive, drive, drive. Switch your arms when you're ready, and complete your reps on the opposite side. Ready, goblet squats. So hip width apart. You can have your toes pointed out slightly if you want, if you have some hip uh, flexibility issues. And then drop as low as you're able to, keeping your back flat. So maybe you're getting a full squat like I am, or maybe it's more of a half squat like that. Instead of one, we're going to go a nice wide stance like this. 
then you're going to hinge forward and then pull up. You might need a little bit of knee bend depending on how flexible the groin and hamstrings are. So let's get ourselves into position. Three, two, and go. Oh, 
breaths, maybe a yawn if you're tired like me. And we'll finish off group two with your chest press. Get ready and go. Who knows? 
Maybe it's humid in your basement or garage or wherever you're doing it. Maybe it's not. All right, let's get ready. Round three, starting with the reverse lunges. Step back, forward, I'm gonna alternate this time. So you're just gonna see, when you alternate, you get a little bit more rest in between. Rather than just doing one leg than the other. So you'll notice the fatigue comes on more gradually, but unfortunately, comes on on both legs equally. Thank you. 
glasses. Show you the side view. Get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Extend. Try to extend fully each time. Finish off your set. Take a break. Grab some water if you need to. Or get out your yoga mat. We got 20 seconds. And like always, we're going to meet in Downward Dog. And 
cobra, hands underneath your shoulders, look to the sky. Every time you exhale, try and let your hips just drop to the back, even if it's just a millimeter. Release that back tension all of us have. And let's finish with child's pose. Head into the mat, butt into your heels, reach your fingertips forward, and just practice deep breathing. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, and we beat it. Great job, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the dumbbell superset workout. Remember, next week we'll do uh, kettlebells, so either grab your kettlebell or use a single dumbbell. Uh, have a good week and we'll see you next time.